everyone knows, everybody knows this, right? Sunday night is the best night for TV, isn't it? It's the best <laughs> night for TV. <laughs> Got everything, Game of Thrones, Twin Peaks, Ray Donovan, Big Brother, whatever show Steve Harvey's hosting. <laughs> It's an amazing night, but last night there was something a little extra special on the telly. Uh, I don't know if you all saw this, it was, it was the premiere of a little indie movie I stumbled upon called Sharknado 5. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? Did anyone here see it? Oh, shut up. It was, a, <laughs> it was like the number one trending topic in the world for hours. It was... Did you see it, Red? Sharknado 5? I, 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 no. <laughs> Guillermo, help me out. You saw Sharknado 5, no? <laughs> Hagar, tell me you saw Sharknado 5. Sorry, no. Tim, I can count on you to be a Sharknado guy. <laughs> Steve, what do you do at night? Where are you on a Sunday night? What are you all doing? Uh, church. Church. <laughs> church? Yeah. You're so full of Helpful as ever. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if you don't mind, I wanted to share with you some of my favourite moments from last night's epic Sharknado 5. <laughs> Starting with this, you know, have you ever had that thing? You know when you're watching a movie, but you keep forgetting the name of that movie? <laughs> Do you have that? Like, I always have it with, um, Mr. Popper's Penguins. <laughs> Oh, what's the one about Walt Disney? See, I can't even remember that. What's the film about Walt Disney with uh, Tom Hanks? <laughs> Saving Mr. Banks. I can never remember that it's called Saving Mr. Banks. Well, luckily, with Sharknado... <laughs> <laughs> that is not a problem. Sharknado. 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 Where is Dr. Robogon? Sharknado got him. Sharknado's continue to ravage the planet. The huge Sharknado has just entered Berlin airspace. I should go into the Sharknado. Dusseldorf has been completely wiped off the map by a barrage of Sharknado. 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 So you turned a Sharknado into a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> show ever. So if anyone was watching last night playing that ge game where you drink a shot every time you hear a word and that word was Sharknado, those people would be dead right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm going to be honest with you. Truth be told, I've never seen the previous Sharknados. <laughs> I haven't seen one through four. <laughs> so I was confused <laughs> throughout Sharknado 5. The only person who seemed more confused by this film than me was one of its stars, Tara Reid. Where are you? Where are we? Where are we going? What's Vega? What is she doing? April, take this. Why? You gotta use it as a propeller. We have to draw Gil Sharknado closer to us so we can get into it. I'm a lot of things, Finn, but I'm not a human helicopter. You're regretting not watching it now. You're regretting not watching it now. Yes, I regret it. Her hair, I love that her hair doesn't <laughs> move. <laughs> she's in a... She's in a shark... No, what is she, a human...? A helicopter. A human helicopter. <laughs> and her hair... She was once engaged to Carson Daly. Tara Reid was once engaged to Carson Daly. Did you know this? They were once together. Did you know this? Did you know this? I didn't grow up here. How do I know all of this? <laughs> you know Carson Daly? This is true. Yeah. You know who Carson Daly is, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got... He used to do MTV, like TRL and all that. That was oh, when yeah. I used to watch it. He has got a tattoo. He got a tattoo. I don't know if this is a Tara Reid or not. He's got a tattoo of one of his ex-girlfriends. I think on his leg, he like got her name tattooed and then they broke up, so he had to cover it up. And he changed the tattoo, changed the ex's name into a crab claw coming out of a pocket knife. <laughs> it's 100% true. Is there, we got, have we got a photo of it? We, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, 
this movie was tough to watch, Sharknado 5. Uh, <laughs> not for the reasons that you're laughing. <laughs> it was tough to watch because of how homesick it made me. It looks like the Sharknado is heading directly towards Buckingham Palace. <laughs> With the Sharknado, that is a gorgeous day in London. <laughs> I'm not joking, that's a heat wave. We call that a heat wave. Speaking of London, I don't know which is less believable, the city getting demolished by a shark-infested tornado or American Idol runner-up Clay Aiken's British accent. The shepherds. Oh, I see you've got some wings there, little chap. There you are. Just your size, chap. Now, this shark tank creates a fiber optic shell, enabling anyone inside to weather any storm. You can't, right, let me be clear, you can't just say the word chap <laughs> and think that that's a British accent. You can't just add chap and you're suddenly British. That's like me doing an American accent and thinking I just have to add the word guns. <laughs> um... <laughs> now, <laughs> if you, now, in this Sharknado 5, there was a role... <laughs> there was a role of the Pope. So some woman had to play the Pope in Sharknado 5. Reg, if you were looking for an actor to play the Pope, who would you get? Uh, uh, Stephen... Stephen... Fry. <laughs> Stephen Fry, OK. Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis? Absolutely. Be a good Pope. Mark yeah, Ma Rylance? Michael Gambon. Michael Gambon, wonderful Pope. No, no, no. Uh, Sharknado overlooked all of those people. <laughs> and they went with the model Fabio. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, Fabio. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I got a great offer for a... It's a, it's a, it's a movie. It's a, really? Yeah, yeah, Who am I playing? The Pope. F*** off. <laughs> the Pope, come on. Uh, now, uh, the celebrity cameos did not stop with Fabio playing the Pope. Uh, there was loads, loads in it. I recommend you go back and watch it for the cameos alone. But Brett Michaels also made an appearance. Fun fact, I don't know if you remember this, Reg, while our show, while we were filming in London, uh, we went to London for a week of our shows. Do you remember, we were filming our opening titles for those London shows on a double-decker bus, and we ran into Brett Michaels, literally. 